All right, hey, welcome to 8% Club. In the, on the side of the studio today, because we're setting up for a lengthy live dial session where I'm live dialing for 800 agents. So we're shooting this now for you. So I wanna talk about three tips for new insurance agents because this is something that we get a lot of questions about. I would say that we get questions the most about, hey, I'm a new insurance agent. What should I do? How do I be successful? How do I get in front of people, right? All these various things that can help new insurance agents. And I would say the very first thing, just to jump in right away, would be that you have to, have to sit and ask 10 people to buy every week. You're able to be consistent about it. You're able to consistently get in front of people, right? It's something that when you say, well, Cody, I know I need to get in front of people and ask people to buy, right? Because that's part of sales, right? You have to have leads, prospects, people to talk to, people to ask to do business with you before they can do business with you, right? You say, well, Cody, that's great. You're watching right now. You're like, maybe, maybe I promise to do that, right? But how do I go to step two, right? How do I actually make that a reality? And so we're actually doing this kind of in reverse today on purpose because it's going to end up flowing backwards into the exact steps you need. So the first thing, sit and ask 10 people to buy every single week. Got to be consistent about it. When I was an agent, I always sat and asked 10 people to buy every single week. And because I was consistent about it, because I always did it, it worked and it helped and it was unbelievable, right? So the second thing, we're in agreement. You guys are going to sit down with 10 people every week, especially if you know how, true, right? That's where having some type of prospecting system in place is invaluable. You say, well, Cody, what are you talking about? Well, we touched on these in the Prospecting 101, our two-hour live virtual training course, and those were about, hey, use your rolling 100. Hey, have a weekly lead flow. Either you create leads or you buy them, right? Secure agent leads, there's a lot of freaking leads, just in case you're wondering. And then the third thing would be, hey, you gotta have some type of third avenue that's focused on activity. I was always focused on activity. I worked my one market rolling 100, weekly lead flow. I created my own leads by using call nights and cold calling, bringing over college kids, all those things that you've heard about. And the third activity avenue for me was door knocking. It was because it was an activity avenue that I could consistently get in front of people every single week. Which is, you hear, you, you hear that week thing a lot. I talk about that a lot. Because you have to consistently get in front of people every week or it doesn't matter. I believe that a week is the best way to track your progress. You should have trackers in your, in, in your office, in your room, in, in your home office, whatever, to where you're tracking KPIs, key indicators, right? Where you're tracking the different things that you need to do to make whatever your goal is and your target is an actual reality, which is what brings us to tip number three, which is have a target. You must have a target and that can it's 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 pretty much just, it's a goal right but it's something hey 12 months later it's something that's 12 months in the future that you're focused on hitting what does that look like what we do we do we have targets around here for everything that we do when we throw a percent nation conference we have a target here's what we want to do vip is selling out fast we're on pace to sell out vip by may 13th that's literally here in about 18 days, right? So we believe in targets. When I was an agent consistently every single day, I always had a target for the week, a target for the year. You have to have a goal. And you say, well, Cody, why do you need a target? A target is extremely important because it keeps you focused. It keeps you consistent, right? And it's something that you can look forward to. Reward yourself, go on a vacation. I bought a car back when I made 117K, right? I paid it off. I, I, went, and, I went and took a $35,000 check to a local bank and paid it off in the first six months of buying a $42,000 Dodge Challenger. And I was like 20 years old then, right? And I was able to do those things because I sat and asked 10 people to buy every single week. Because I had a prospecting system, rolling 100, weekly lead flow, th third activity avenue of some sort, and I had a target. My target was, hey, Cody, I want to make 100K 
this year, which means I need to make 2K per week, right? And I need to sit with 10 people this week for that to happen, right? These are the goals that I wrote down every single day as a new agent. Because I had a target, it was easy to stay focused on it. Also, by having a target, one thing it does really, 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 really well is it helps create urgency so that you have something that's driving you and pushing you that creates urgency constantly. That's where, okay, let's have a target. What is your target? Something 12 months in the future. Focus on it. Stay consistent with it because if you're focused on it, the chance of me being consistent are greater. True or false? Also, something to look forward to, right? I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited for it. I'm not going to get off track because it's a target that I'm committed to. Either you're committed to, I mean, a lot of people, a lot of people have goals, targets. People say, hey, I want to be a millionaire before I'm 30. I used to say I want to be a millionaire before I'm 30, but when I said that a decade ago, I didn't believe it. That's the difference in me then and me now. When I say, hey, you know, I want to help every insurance agent in, in, in the world, or I want to be an eight-figure earner, et cetera, et cetera, I actually believe it now. I didn't believe it then. Something to look forward to and creating urgency. Whether you're selling, whether you're recruiting, whether you're calling, whether you're working leads, door knocking, no matter what you do, you have to insert urgency to get people to take action with you now. That's where my no callback close comes in. I believe and love urgency. So if you're out there right now, you're like, man, dude, I, I'm fired up. I'm a new agent. I need help though. I'm struggling. I'm maybe jacked and fired up, but I'm struggling. Have 10 people to ask to buy every week. And to do that, you're going to need 20 plus leads. And if you're brand new, you're probably going to need 25 to 30, right? But you got to figure out your numbers and figure out what that number is for you. Have a prospecting system so that you're consistent. You have something to look forward to, something to, something to follow along every week and have a target. Have a freaking giant target that you can look forward to and that you can crush in the near future. If you follow these things, if you implement this, and if you set a target and start thinking big and start grinding towards a target, you will succeed. You won't be like 92% of other agents that fell, right? Which is why we created 8% Nation, which is an insurance, it's a two-day insurance wealth conference focused on helping you be a part of the 8% and every other insurance agent be a part of the 8%. That stat will go down in time. We're committed to it. You're committed to it because you want to succeed. I'm committed to it because I want you to succeed. We're going to bring that statistic up. 8% is going to grow over time, right? I told them, hey, we had 8% nation last year. Maybe it's 9% nation this year, right? Who knows? But either way, if you want to come hang out with us in Dallas at the Statler for 8% nation, Grab a VIP seat before it is sold out. We're on pace to sell out May 13th. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. If you love our videos, if you love this, not only subscribe, give it a thumbs up. That's step number two, th three steps, right? Three tips for you. I'm giving you three tips, right? Do three tips for me. Subscribe, give me a thumbs up on the video, and also comment below with what your target is going to be. Whatever your target is, I'm going to respond and try to encourage you and give you some ideas on how to hit your target. Appreciate you watching. Have an awesome weekend and have a great day. Thanks for watching.